let's go to the critique gallery once again. And let's go to this one. Now, it's tough for me sometimes. This is cookie. Uh, it's hard for me uh, with your usernames versus your real names. I know some people don't want to use their real names on the website. They use their usernames. It's, it's uh, easier if you have your real name on here for me to remember you. But let's just go with cookie. And uh, cookie, basically, this is a pretty good drawing of Aaron Neville. I definitely, when I look at it, I kind of know who it is. The couple parts of the drawing that I, I think could be improved, well, let's just talk about, I, I read what you wrote that you're using a, two different mediums on here. This is really black. Let me pull this into Photoshop. This part of the image right here is really black compared to the rest. I mean, you have it here, you have it a little bit over here. I, I'd mix it into uh, other places as well. So just watch when you when you use different mediums that they that they gel. So I think what what you need to do. Let me just color pick this and um, let me go with the brush and let me get a bigger brush and let's just lessen the opacity and the flow. So basically this over here all needs to be, this needs to be a softer edge, that black shadow into his skin. This over here definitely needs to be a softer edge behind his ear. I, I would put a softer edge over here. This needs to be softer. All this stuff needs to be much, much softer. This black edge of his shirt is just too hard edge and I'm looking there first. So just pay attention to your edges and make sure that they're they're nice and soft. Where would I do a hard edge? I guess I would do more of a hard edge on his forearm slash microphone if you wanted it to come forward. I don't know, maybe what I would do is this side of his forearm, I would do you know, a darker line, maybe, not a must. What I think I, I would consider doing is just trashing um, his right arm and not even putting it in. I think what it's doing, I think it was his hand and it's going up to his ear or something like that. But I think what I would do is use some artistic license on this one and not even put in his arm. Keep this whole thing out. Sometimes uh, it's good when you look at reference because I'm looking at that arm. I'm like, I think it's his arm. Maybe it's not his arm. It looks like the same texture, but you do not want your viewers looking at, at your pieces and being like, what is that? You want the viewer to look at, at the drawing and, and know exactly what they're looking at without any doubts whatsoever. So I kind of like it better without that arm in it. I think I would eliminate that. And I used to eliminate stuff all the time when I did illustration. Um, so now we can just you can lose this arm right into that if you wanted to. I like it better already without that arm. Okay, so the the key here is just to uh, watch sometimes with, with your reference um, that we understand what it is. If you're using a piece of reference where part of it is out of focus, you know you got some decisions to make. But overall, pretty good. Lastly, what I would say on this piece is that um, where is that color picker? I think what I would have done also, let me go a little bit darker, is on his, this eye. I think I wouldn't have gone this dark here. I would have lightened it. You could still put the dark there, just not that dark, okay? I think what I would have done with his goatee is I would have made it darker right to the edge. I think I would have gone a little bit. Let me just put this thing on normal. I would have gone darker here. I sorry, hold on. And not not have left that like little rim light, um, yeah. So last thing I'm gonna do to this drawing is just with an edge, soften this, the whole under brim of his hat. Just soften all that, soften the shadow on his ear, maybe a little bit of tone over here, and that just makes it pop so much better. Okay, I think it's a good drawing, definitely, and I, I like the one of the Louis Armstrong, uh, that, that as well, that one's pretty cool, um, I don't like that last brush stroke I did. Okay, so let's move on now, let's go to a new drawing, and let's go back to the critique gallery, and Katie Ann, let's bring this into Photoshop, this cute little baby, 